Hello, I'm here with the Honorable Keizo Takemi, who's a member of Japan's Upper House, the House of Counselors. And Takemi Sensei is renowned in Japan as the, the top leader on global health in the political world. And he's been a champion of Japan's role in global health, and particularly universal health coverage. Um, what I want to ask um, Takemi Sensei today is, what does he envision, what do you envision as Japan's role in global health for the next five years going forward? The, you know, the, the originally the Japanese government has consistently committed on the global health issues since 2000, mm -hmm. Kyushu Okinawa Summit. Mm -hmm. And the first initiative was given for uh, infectious diseases. Uh, this became uh, establishing the uh, global fund. And eight years ago, it was uh, uh, Hokkaido Toyako G8 Summit. And we picked up the health system strengthening as a key word for our global health policy making and contributed quite a lot to mainstream the you know, health system as a key approach for the global health policy making. However, uh, we defined uh, the six building blocks uh, for our health system as a whole. But uh, actually, we had so many partnerships for uh, WHO. Health metrics, health metrics networks for the information, the Global Health Workforce Alliance for Human Resources for Health. But those are the building blocks approach uh, could not sustain their own uh, the momentum as the key agenda for the global health. So now, this is the timing as a host nation of the coming G7, how we can combine those uh, uh, disease-oriented vertical approach and also the, the horizontal the health systems approach and uh, the one umbrella mm -hmm. and also uh, base, you know, boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the subject now we have as the host nation of G7 and within the near future this is the basic line of Japan as well. But in addition to that, as you know, that Ebola crisis happened you know, recently and uh, it is emergent and the urgent matter that came out. And we have to tackle on the how we can design those are the, the structure of the uh, crisis management for uh, those that risk infectious diseases in the future as well. So well, this is a kind of a two-track approach. One is for the emergency matter for the structuring and architecture for the uh, crisis management. and the uh, design for how we can prioritize to achieve the universal health coverage. And of course, that the preparedness of the emergency is a part of the subsystem of the health system, which can be the basis to achieve the universal health coverage. Mm -hmm. So those are the things are, are two-track approach, but they're closely related to each other for our position. So in advancing these universal health coverage, a horizontal approach, at the yeah. same time keeping strong disease-specific vertical approaches going, yes. is the key thing, is it sufficient financing going mm -hmm. forward? Is it, is it, it having the human capacity or mm -hmm. coordination, mm -hmm. or is it governance issues? And the important thing is that uh, you know, the vertical approach like uh, you know, HIV, AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis, and also polio eradication. And those are the vertical approach uh, can maintain their own political momentum mm -hmm. and has a boots on the ground in the field and the community level. But on the other hand, they have uh, some sort of a potential capacity to build up the health system as well. So how we can encourage those uh, the vertical player to contribute for the health system in each country? Mm -hmm. And then the countryside should have the, the platform under the public and private collaboration and to coordinate those that each the health systems approach based on the vertical course. This is the new framework we try to build up in each country. Uh, this is uh, you know, one of the challenge of the Japan as a host nation for the G7 and within five years. And this is the key area where Japan yes, is contributing. That's right. Thank you very much You're for welcome. taking your time. It's Thank fun. you.